Hey, thanks for joining us today. Today's video for our MDS challenge, week number, I think we're up to seven now, is altering punches. So if you've not joined us before, we share a, um, a tip each week and a little video to go with it, and then we encourage lots of sharing on our MDS challenge Facebook page as well. So check out my blog at stampwithheather.ca or Kimberly's at stampinbythesea.com, and you can see um, all the past weeks as well. So here we're going to show you, or I'm going to show you how I altered this punch for this page. So to create this Christmas tree, it's just done with a series of punches. And what I did, if you come over to our punch, I'll just start with a blank template here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually end up making my own punch. And you can start with any punch. Another place you can do this is in freeform. But if you do freeform, rather than altering punches, you're not going to be able to paper fill it. And I wanted to be able to paper fill it. So I'm going to come up here to punches, go to add punch, and then I'm just going to take, it doesn't even matter um, which one, but I think I searched for a pennant. Any triangular shape is good. So any of those would work, but let's just do the petite pennant punch. Oh, so I'm going to apply the original, and then now I'm going to show you how to edit it. So here, when I have the petite pennant highlighted, I'm going to come here to edit shape, and you're going to see that my punch is now here, and it's the vector drawing. And now if I highlight a line, it's going to turn blue, and I'm going to go to Insert Curve. I'm going to drag this little vertex here down to the edge, and now I'm going to just make that curve ever so slightly. There we go, something like that. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Insert Curve again. I'm going to drag this down so that blue line becomes the whole line, and then I can make that curve. And now I'm going to hit OK, and let's just call this a treetop punch. And there you have, you can see my altered punch compared to my original punch. And now to make this work for my tree, let's just rotate it there. You can see, obviously mine was shrunk down a little bit, but here was my treetop. And then I rotated it. And then I just copied and pasted my second one. And then to create this, I widened it ever so slightly. So you can see it just changes the look of that a little bit. And I just rotated the angle, so I think my top one, just to make it look tippy, something like that. And I'll copy and paste. My third layer of my tree, again, I'm going to widen it ever so slightly. Maybe raised up a bit, so just to kind of go for a different look. And eventually I'm going to get back to that 180. Here we go, rotation. And there we have our tree. And then what I did is I just, you can click and highlight, and you can color fill all of those up, and I used the gumball green. And then to make my tree layers on top, I just created, so I copied and pasted, oops, sorry, each punch size, copy, paste, made it a little smaller and filled it with designer paper to end up with that Christmas tree look. So I hope you liked today's project, and I look forward to seeing what you have to share on our MDS Challenge blog. Have a great day!